Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. And for the better part of a century, the Sooners and Longhorns have defined conferences, national titles, and how regions of the country are perceived based on the outcome of this game. When these two meet, everybody pays attention. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Texas Longhorns, taking on the 11th ranked team in the land, the Oklahoma Sooners. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Obviously, they go to the same high schools. They they visit the same school, Jesse. This game always means a lot. Yeah, look, it's Boomer Sooner and Hook'em, right? This is one of the best rivalry games in all of college football. There's just always a different energy when these two teams meet. Caught in the backfield, it's Golden. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. Opening drive of the game, and they're facing third and one. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Able to work it to the 39-yard line, and that'll be a first down. The Longhorns come to the line with a new set of downs. They're getting this guy lathered up, and this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Caught in the backfield. It's Bolden. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. Coming after him. The freshman able to get home with the sack. Well, he had nowhere to go with the ball, guys. And if the defense is a nickel, great job by the DBs in coverage. No receivers out. first work of the afternoon. He gets it up to the 34-yard line before he stopped, and that's where the offense will set up shot. So the Oklahoma Sooners offense will try to get something started with their first possession. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking him up in this matchup, David. And it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that, a cornerback, that could do that in a game like this. But this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. Thompson wants to throw. Those two not on the same page. It's incomplete. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Getting some heat. And here's a fumble way behind the line. How about that alert play from the defense to corral that fumble? Touchdown, Texas! The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense striking with a scoop and score touchdown. And defense is about getting guys to the football. Sometimes you just get that hit, the ball pops out, more guys swim into the football. Great effort. Scoop that thing up. Now do some damage with it. You always wanted to play offense anyways. Convert that defensive player, offensive player. Give me that six.
He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. He'll start the return inside his spot. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Got to be smart, patient, great vision. Uses all of that to get to the 29. The Sooners in the hurry up. You can't help but think back to last year, Jesse, when Oklahoma figured out a way to win that close game. And Reese, Texas has been reminded every day this past year about losing that game close, too. So you knew, David, coming out in this one, they were going to be amped up and ready to roll. And you know the juices are flowing early in the game. Like, this is not a friendly rivalry. OU doesn't like Texas. Texas doesn't like OU. The Sooners will punt it away on fourth down. Fair catch called for and made. The Longhorns sending the offense back onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Caught behind the line. It's golden. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. They're bringing heat. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. The Longhorns will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Here come the Sooners ready to go on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. A great Oklahoma running attack will bring a tear to the Boomer Sooner Nation eye thinking of guys like Billy Sims. And where it all started was always the ground game and the toughness and never question that. In Oklahoma, they got to get to that. They got to be that. They got to live that. But they really want to build on what they used to be and bring that tradition and build some of that tradition in the SEC. That's a really good tackle there, giving up some size and still making the play. On third down, going up top. Trying to escape and get it himself. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory there down at the 43-yard line. And the Sooners are moving quickly down the field. That is the exact situation that every defense draws up. I want you in third and long. I want you in a predictable passing situation. But I don't want you with that guy because that guy can run around, scramble, buy time, make third and long look like third and short, and pick up a first down. The Sooners come to the line in the hurry up. The run from the shotgun. Open space at the 25. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. They want to get this defense on its heels. From the gun, the running back has it. Brought down after a pickup of two to the 19. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Working his way and keeping those legs moving. Picks up five down to the 14. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to convert through the air. And he can't find his man as he was trying to pay off this red zone opportunity. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. Field goal is good. A 
after putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Here comes the Texas offense. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Grabbed in the backfield. It's held. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. You know what I really like about games like this at this point in the season? You find out who you are. You find out whether you're going to stay in the race. And who can step up and handle the challenge, right? This is easily one of the toughest games to date for both of these programs coming into this one. So there's a lot of eyeballs, David, on this game to find out who's mentally and emotionally the toughest. Yeah, and we're going to point to this game as we get later in the year and big decisions are made. You've got a top 25 win. You beat them in the middle of the season, X, Y, and Z. So these are... And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. And he's brought down, and this defense gets the ball back for its own. There is little that warms the heart of a defender like a strip sack, even better if you get the ball. And I like the awareness of this defender on the play because he knew he might not actually get to the quarterback and make the hit, but he was able to still swat away, use those long arms to create the turnover. The Sooner offense returns to the field. They had to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse. They'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution. And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. It takes advantage of great field position. up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point gives him a three-point lead at 10 to 7. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Georgia is running away with this one thanks to an offense that's been sicking them since the opening kickoff. They're up 14 over Mississippi State. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Followed that blocking and got five out to the 26. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They'll run it from the gun. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. Used the play fake, now to throw. Knew where he wanted to go with it, but couldn't find his target, it's incomplete. Let's see what they've got on second down. And the pass falls harmlessly to the ground. We'll see if the laundry no, is no, as no, harmless. No, 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 no. <laughs> the officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Wide receiver shows motion. Caught in the backfield, it's Bond. Stopped after making the catch. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Pressure coming. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. The Longhorns will send out the punt unit. He'll 
will settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Just enough time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. He'll pull it on the read. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. We reached a quarter break with Oklahoma on top, and we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Line gets set, first down. He'll keep it himself. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow in second and seven. The Sooners will hustle for the line. Winner of this game dons the golden hat, but you know, Jesse, only David could wear the golden hat among the three of us because there's no way either of us should put a hat. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. They've got a good chunk of ground to cover on third and long from the 41. He's looking downfield to throw. And this is going to be incomplete on third. And the Sooners will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Off play action on first down. That's reeled in. It's blue. Turns it on at midfield. And the big game, and they've got it on the 46. They've done a really good job identifying mismatches, and they find one out of the backfield there. Reese, I really don't think it's that hard. My guy is better than yours. Find the matchup across the field. Running back's got some speed. Get it in his hands quickly. Throw it to him fast. Let him make somebody miss against a slower guy that's usually a linebacker. The offense sets up shop at the 46 on first down. To the air. It's Ewers. They're working that left side. Gets away from one. He's got space. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing them open. They'll go to the ground. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And the Longhorns with the first and ten. Motion from the offense. On the run, it's Gibson. Able to get a couple on the play. He's down at the nine. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Off the play fake. Trying to get to it. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. What a great job by this defense, setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting them on the ground. That's why they built it. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. And he feels the heat coming in and burns him up. Another sack. And if your job is to irritate, to confuse, to hit, to make quarterbacks feel very uncomfortable, 
This defense is definitely doing their job. Six sacks, that's the way to make the quarterback feel like he's having a hard day. He's had no response. This offensive line has no response. Just a sack party. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. And this one splits the uprights. And guys, after that field goal, brand new ball game all tied up. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. And he'll bring it out of the end zone. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, Dave. I think up front they got to do a better job getting blocks and establishing this running game. And how easy does football become if you're the more physical team? If you can threaten the run and then, then run play action, it opens up the whole offense at your disposal. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Pocket starts to collapse. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Yeah, and how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. The Sooners will line up to punt it away. Three and out, and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He gets it away from his own end zone. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. And here come the horns. They've got it again on offense. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Back to throw. It's yours. Going for it all. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. Well, the defense comes away with the pick there with their nickel personnel. And I think moving forward, if you're on offense, when you see that personnel on the field, you want to run the ball against it because you've got smaller guys out there. Or if you're going to throw, think about quick screens outside when you have tight ends flexed on the perimeter, bigger bodies blocking smaller guys. The offense set for a first down play. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. The Sooners want to crank the tempo. On second down, just keeps firing. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. That pass not close as he got thrilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. And the Sooners send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Makes a move. Return's going to get it up around midfield. He'll be down at the 49-yard line. And here comes the Texas offense back on the field. After throwing the pick on the last drive, need to take care of the ball this time, Jesse. We're going to find out a lot about this quarterback right here, too. How does he fight through adversity after that last drive? Yeah, clear the mechanism, move on. That, that's a part of it. You're going to be a great player. you got to learn how to handle these mistakes and move on. After that huge play right back at him on first and 10 from inside the 15. Looking for room, it's Baxter. 
pushes and picks his way ahead for six yards. He's down at the eight. Operating in the red zone here on second down. The give from the gun. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can't pick up the first without scoring. Feeling some heat. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. The defense has been so dominant up front. You've seen it in these passing situations. That now, the seventh sack of the game. Try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. That thing would have hit a string in the middle of the uprights. Perfect. And guys, after the field goal, now they have the lead. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. A bit of an under-the-radar game this week, guys, but take a look at this. Georgia is currently up big at this moment, so much so they're on the verge of getting Uga the rest of the day off. They're up by 17 over Mississippi State. For now, it's back to you fellas, but of course, if anything changes, you'll see it right here. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Sooner offense back onto the field. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. This tight end just creates matchup problems no matter how you try to defend him. How about the catch radius on him, too? So as a quarterback, you don't have to be perfect when throwing it to him. You just got to get it somewhere in his vicinity, and he can come up with the catch. The Sooners want to move quickly. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he gets a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Didn't get much on first down in second and nine. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Thompson to throw. They're trying to get to it. And the defense gets to the quarterback. The defense is just killing it. Success after success after success. If I'm the offense, i got to change something up or my quarterback's going to be forced to change because he's going to be in the injury team. The Sooners line up to punt it away. And before they can kick it, the receiving team's going to call a timeout. And here comes the punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Offense set on first down. Grabbed over the middle. It's held. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Throws to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And what a massive play for the offense. Not only getting the football across the 50, but they've now put themselves in position to steal a few more points here before the half. Trying to find his man on first down. Throws to the tight end. Got his man. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go. The football had time. Spins the ball deep. 
Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given them and creating the explosive play. Makes the grab. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Wide out in motion. They're going to run it. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play call and everyone on the same page here. Corralled and brought down by the defense. The offense burns his third and final timeout of the half. So here comes the field goal unit. They've been doing work today. They've already made a couple. They'll try to power it in. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Longhorn! And how about this offense? A big situation of fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. Finding up to add another. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punt. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And he'll be brought down after a solid effort on that return. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Setting up the screen. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Here comes the offense on second down. Thompson wants to throw. Coming after it. Pressure is all over him, and he can't get it off. Down he goes, and that'll bring us to the end of the first half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors at our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball-hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes, a testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Coming out on first down with the play fake. The deficit here is just 10. Looking for a deep man. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Power football with the run. Nifty run there. Pick up of six out to the 25. And the Sooners headed quickly to the line. They'll run play action. Getting some heat. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. Yeah, and man, if you talk about being down at the half, what's one thing I need to do? I, I got to protect my quarterback. In the first series here now, you're getting your quarterback hit and taken to the ground. This offense has to protect that dude at all costs. The Sooners will punt this one away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Coverage team able to put a stop to that return at the 42-yard line. So Texas has it again, and here comes the offense. 
David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. And I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. He'll try the right side. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Offense gets set for second down. Scanning the field, it's Ewers. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man all by himself. His defense giving up ground. He's finally knocked down at the 26. The Longhorns are marching down the field. From the gun, running back gets to give. Works his way ahead for about three yards, stopped at the 23. Got three on first down at second and seven. Pulls it and fires to the left. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. A manageable distance on third down as they try to convert from the 20. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the end zone. He caught it. And he will score. Touchdown, Texas. No midseason concentration laps here in week seven as they push out that lead. Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys, but you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David, so this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you gotta swing it back your way. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's coming out of the end zone. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now the Oklahoma offense will go back to work. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. And down by 17, it's not winning mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points, and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something down. And a great job by the QB, finding the running back, get him the football where he can do some damage after the catch, and most importantly, get the first down. Quarterback on the keeper. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. The Sooners moving quickly to the line. On the run, it's Beebe. Bulls his way forward. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. And the Sooners getting set on first and 10. Thompson to throw. Unloads to the wideout. And he was looking over the middle and couldn't make the connection. This offense has a second down play. From the gun, the ground game. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks for the first down. The offense in hurry up mode. Right back to the well. Good pick up on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. He'll put the tight end in motion. He'll do it himself. Makes the tackle at the 27. It's a pick up of five and enough for the first down. Tempo and overdrive. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll leave it with him. 
tackle is made after the first down. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Going to work on second down in the red zone. Is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. He makes a grab. He gets it in. Touchdown sooner. Quarterback's ability to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the time to be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone. That was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. UMass has had almost no answers today, and when they have had them, that other sideline has changed the questions. A puzzling performance in Amherst. They're trailing by 18 to Missouri. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. It is hard to continue to get up and get up and get up like he has being sacked time after time again. But this QB, this offense, they're undeterred. They're continuing to put drives together. And most importantly, they're winning the football game. And now to try to put things in motion on second and long from the 15. Dropping back, it's Ewers. They're bringing heat. They'll run the screen. Across the 25, he's got room. And another big game for this offense. They are putting explosive pass after explosive pass up in this one. And they executed that running back screen to perfection. Quarterback held on to it. He let the rush get to him. Offensive lineman got out in position. And the running back sold it, too. Once he had the ball in his hands, he just had blockers and green field out in front of him. They pick up an explosive play on a running back screen. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. Fast motion from the offense. Looking to throw on second down. He lost one down the sideline. And they can't hook up, going for the big play on second down. Now it's third down. Trying to pick up a first down. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Grab behind the line. It's blue. And they wrap him up, but not before. He gets enough on the catch for the first down. And the Longhorns have their offense in high gear. Got it behind the line. It's Bond. And that play just looked to be a mess from the snap, and he's run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Out of the gun to give to the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Pressure coming. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. That defender is a matchup nightmare for any offensive lineman to block. He's got athleticism. He's got length. He's got flexibility. He put it all on display on that side. The Longhorns will try to pin them back with the punt. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. And no chance for the return man to get his hands on. That one as it hops out of bounds. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. 
There's certainly still a hill to climb, but they've got to make sure these drives pay off. Got a touchdown last time. Can they back it up here? Well, and it's amazing in a football game how sometimes they'll surprise you with what you do. Once you get settled and you realize what's going on now, I'm comfortable with it. Jesse, this offense looked comfortable on its last drive. They sure did. It looked like they started to find some momentum. So now it's on this defense to stop that, all right? You're a little bit upset based on what just happened the previous drive. You got to blow up again and go back to what was working earlier in this game. Just the ability to move the chains, keep the drive going, sort of quintessential efficiency from a Sooner quarterback. Yeah, and from a Sooner offense because, Reese, they keep the drive going, but what does that do? Most Oklahoma teams over the years, we see them go fast, and they and they wear you down throughout a football game. So the quarterback play on those completions that move the sticks, that make you play three more plays, four more plays, five more plays, and just wear you out. Still running up the 40. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains, and he's got it at 34. Out of the gun, the inside give. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. The give to the back. Stop is made at the 22. A 10-yard pickup and a first down just outside the red zone. Used to play fake. Now to throw. Fires to the middle. He caught it. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being caught. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results because everything else ain't working anyways. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. And they'll get off one more play before the end of the quarter. Off the play fake on first down. Grabbed behind the line. It's Baxter. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse. Losing yardage on that play. Guys, it is Texas who holds the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. And they are looking for a ball play that'll work. Now facing second and long from the 19. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, back up inside their 20. Well, this offensive line has got to do a better job. They've now given up way too many seconds. This poor quarterback is running for his life. They've got to shore up and do a better job on the offensive line. Decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Time for this Sooner offense to go back to work. Unloads to the right. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? Touchdown Sooner! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead.
Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Longhorn sending the offense back onto the field. He's got an open man. Afterburner's coming. The 20. He's at... No one there to stop him, except the fellow in the striped shirt who threw the penalty flag. This one might be coming back. Man, at this stage of the game, does that hurt to have six points taken off the board. Now they've got to regroup and try to get it in again. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. Tried to pound it on first down, now back to the line. Dropping back, it's Ewers. Trying to get to it. And down he goes back with the three. There's an example of a dude getting beat one-on-one -on -one with his quarterback getting closer and closer to his end zone, man. That's scary. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. On the ground, it's Baxter. Sweet feet on the move and he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. And the Longhorns will punt it away on fourth down. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. On the return, it's Burks. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not gonna settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Here's the handoff. Shows him the stiff arm. Well, no mystery on that play call, right? You've got the lead late in the game. You've gotten the ball back on the other side of the 50 on your opponent's side, and so you're just going to run it. And it's fine if they know that. You just want to stay on the field and bleed this clock. And you got to start thinking about where are your best run at runs? Which side of this offensive line is the strongest? Which guys defensively do you want to attack so you can take as much time off the clock as possible? The play action fake. Fires deep toward the end zone. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? Let's go. Talk about leaving the door open. Yes, please. You think they might run the clock out, run the football consistently? No, sir. They put it in the air. We forced the interception. Great job by the defense. When they needed it the most, they came through. Here comes the Texas offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, and they corral the ball, so they avoid the turnover. But, man, did they lose a chunk of yardage. To throw, it's Ewers. They bring him down, but a solid pick up to put them in position to pick up a first down. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. He lobs one high down the left side. And that'll be incomplete. They certainly weren't afraid to take a shot there, and now it's fourth down. So the officials take a closer look, and the replay booth will overturn the call. Fires to the wideout. Had it in his hands, and he dropped it. Thought he had another big play and interception. He'll have to settle for the PBU. It's second down. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On second down, looking again to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Golden. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. 
Here they come up to the 23-yard line, not thinking field goal, wanting to convert this third and short. Here comes the rush, and they've got it wrapped up at the 28. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Bolden. And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. The Longhorns are moving quickly down the field. Hand off from the shotgun. Brought down after a pickup of five yards down to the 10. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Off play action. Let's it go to the end zone. And that pass picked off. And after the interception and the turnover, this defense has set its offense up for business. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. You saw it right there. Come the Sooners ready to go on offense. One of the most valuable things a quarterback can have, David, short-term memory. Just forget that last pick. You're dang right. Clear the mechanism. It's over and moving behind. Some players can't do that real well, and it leads to more mistakes, Jesse. you got to just forget about it and move on. And I think the coaching staff can help him too, David. I think you can get the running game going here and also give him some easy throws. Find space on the right. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. Line getting set on second down. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. The Sooners racing to the line in the hurry up. Thompson wants to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. And he can't escape, and down he goes. The offensive line coach will be pulling his hair out. His head coach is okay right now because they're winning the game, but from an O-line standpoint, they've been atrocious in pass play. The Sooners will call on their punt team. They'll look to pin them deep. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. So now the Longhorns take over, and they'll send out the offense. That last possession, a prime example, Jesse, of how things get condensed in the red zone. Hard to throw when the windows are smaller, and that's what happens down near the goal line, David. For this quarterback here, just take accountability and ownership and come out here and lead your offense. And move on. Like... We needed points. That's something that we can harp on. We'll watch the tape this week, but now it's time to move on. Let's get another drop going. Here they come, trying to convert a third and short from the 28. Gives it to the back on the draw. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. Part of the backfield. It's Bolden. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Got out of trouble and throws. Got it in the middle. It's golden. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. And the Longhorns will snap it on first and ten. He's gonna pass. Got it in the middle, it's golden. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He'll just keep slinging it. Catch in the middle, it's Bolden. 
They get him down after he makes the catch. They'll hurry to the line with the clock still running. He wants to throw here on second down. He'll take a shot. And that's going to be incomplete. Going for broke on second down. The third down's coming up. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. Looking to throw, it's Ewers. He'll try to do it himself. How about that nice run from this junior quarterback? The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. They've moved to the 16. It's first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. Let's it fly deep downfield. He was open, he had it, and he dropped it. Would have been a touchdown. Instead, it's second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. Touchdown, Longhorn! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it. Needs this one to push the lead to a field goal. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Sooner offense returns to the field. These are the games. These are the moments. This is the opportunity for the fit. And he can't find anyone open. And down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. Wants to fire on second down. And he can't get it off. Taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Trailing by a possession, they need to keep the ball. They'll try to convert on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. Running out the clock, a mere formality between them and a victory as we have victory formation coming. This game always brings out the best in both teams, but today, Jesse, Texas best was a little better. And this is a win for them that's going to help their recruiting. Coaches are going to get paid for, but most importantly, David, Texas gets bragging rights for another whole year. A whole year of bragging and a whole year of telling OU fans, you're not as good as us. You can throw up the hook em horns. You can do it with pride. A lot on the line every year in the Red River rivalry. It may not be a crown, but it's a hat, and it is golden. In this latest edition of the Red River rivalry, it goes to Texas. For David Pollock and Jesse Palmer, I'm Reese Davis. Until next time, that'll do it for this edition of EA Sports College Football.